Hola community, I'm Pablo Vasquez. Since Blender 2.8, the sculpt mode in Blender has been improving so much. It's not even close to what it was in 2.7. Um, there are new tools, there is new workflow, new performance. And in 2.91, there's no exception. There is special focus on working with multiple objects. There are, um, there are ways to uh, change between objects and to see them. So let's get into action here. So sculpt mode. Once you enter sculpt mode, you're going to notice that the other objects in the scene are slightly faded. So that is an overlay. It's an overlay setting that you can tweak together with the other overlays and it's called fade interactive geometry. It's a slider where you can make, um, you can dim the other objects more or less. By default it's 0.5 and should be okay. But if you have, depending on the, on the materials that you're working on, you want to make it more, um, more obvious that change and uh, where you're working if you want to switch to the other objects you can press d and that will d for um for not for draw for twitching <laughs> switching it's uh it's very quick and it works very well so while you're sculpting so it's very fast and um because each object has its own uh, geometry data and stuff it's uh it's it's gonna allow you to work with more more polygons you can work with this one has can have millions and this one other millions and just like that um it's gonna be better blender is better at managing uh more polygons if they are in different objects so if you have 50 million in one object, it's going to be um, slower than if you had uh, maybe 25 in each one of this. Um, the other change is that now the XYZ symmetry is now per mesh, which is shared between all the painting and edit modes. So that also is another improvement to work with multiple objects because each one is going to store its own uh, symmetry. It's not in the brush anymore. So if you are working with an object that needs symmetry um, in the X axis, for example, and another one in the Y axis, then this will be stored per mesh, each one with its own. And when you're changing between painting or um, sculpting or editing, that's going to be preserved. So another improvement for uh, stability. And uh, that's that's pretty much it, actually. You can, you can read a bunch of uh, changes here in um, the wiki page. I'm going to link in the description because 2.91 in sculpting is really getting a lot of, lot of love. There are new tools and there is improvement in uh, uh, performance as well. But uh, for example, here, this one, viewport, the HDRI location can be locked. So you can use Eevee as matcaps. Isn't that great? So let's see how it looks in this file. For example, well, I can also show you if you go into sculpt mode, you can uh, turn on fade inactive geometry. And here you can see how uh, when I press D, I can change between the different parts of the object and I can just simply start sculpting those and they, yeah, they only affect that one object. So super uh, nice, isn't it? Also, what is nice, what actually wanted, what I wanted to show you and I got a little bit sidetracked is that I don't know if you noticed, but the um, the reflections and the lighting in the character here is locked to the view. So when you move around, it affects the shading. So that is, is that that is like having a met, like a like an EV <laughs> matcap kind of a thing. Um, it's a setting that you can ch change to make it locked. So when you rotate around, the the HDRI it doesn't move around. It's just fixed, which it would be like it is in real life, right? Um, the world doesn't move, doesn't rotate. We move with the world. Um, but if you disable that option, you're gonna see that it follows the view and allows you to see the materials much, much more, much better because it's the whole lighting is changing and it just looks super awesome, especially for reflections. It's awesome. This file, by the way, is available. It's on blender.org. Uh, you can get it on the demo file section. It's by Emiliano Colantoni. And the improvements done in um, here in sculpting are done by Pablo Dovarro, the magician that is giving us so many features. You can go here in the wiki and see all the other features that I'm not showing in this video, but I actually talked about in the last live stream of Blender today. Uh, you can go to the 120, it was la a few days ago, and around the minute 17.30, I start to... Um, okay, so here is a... 
to share the whole list of changes and then I even get to then I get sidetracked and then I get to share all of them it's like a 10 minute <laughs> a part of the show just dedicated actually more 15 minutes 30 minutes okay this is Pablo Dovaro today episode <laughs> It's very long, but uh, I, I go into more detail because it's a live stream. All right, that is, uh, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the new stuff, download Blender, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.